So my previous mouse before this was the Logitech G502. And if you're familiar with that mouse, you'd know it had a whole lot of buttons. I think it was like 11 buttons that were all programmable, which allowed you to be really flexible and, you know, bind whatever you wanted to each of those buttons and was really good in game. And I kind of miss that, you know, functionality in my mouse. But objectively, I think light mouses are better. So I upgraded to the Logitech Pro X Superlight. And now I'm going to show you guys how I achieve a higher programmable button count by creating this G shift toggle. Um, so first off, I don't have a Logitech map, uh, keyboard. I only have a Logitech mouse, obviously. Um, but without a Logitech keyboard, I can't bind my, you know, keyboard key to G shift. So instead, I compromise by allowing my middle mouse button to become my G shift. Um, but I still keep full functionality of my middle mouse button because, you know, sometimes you just want to open a new tab, right? Just middle clicking, middle clicking, middle clicking. Um, but if you press and hold it down for more than a second, it won't send that middle mouse click. Uh, now I'm going to show you guys how I achieved that. <clears throat> so first things first, you want to configure the middle mouse button to be bound to G shift like that, right? <clears throat> and automatically you'll already notice you can, you know, do the G shift toggle with that. Now, next thing you want to do is go into manage profiles here and you want to add a macro. I call it middle click because that's the action that I'm replacing. So in that, I literally just click on here and I think it's system, mouse, middle click, and you just add that action there. And now you have a macro that will do a single non-repeating middle click. Go back. Uh, I don't have to save the changes because it's already there. Now, the next thing you want to do is in whatever profile you want this functionality in, you want to also add a script. Uh, I'll put a link to a Reddit post with the entire code snippet and some explanation and discussion on what the post is doing. Um, but I'll just run through it really quickly in this video. Basically, this function here gets the current uh, time in seconds. Uh, I do you know multiplication to get the minutes, hours, days, and years, and basically just get the exact second that is currently now. Um, not too important. It's more of a utility function. If anyone else is going to be doing any, you know, interval based scripts, this is probably going to be very useful to them. Um, then I get the current time and I just store in this, uh, global variable of time. And there's a function that's called whenever an event happens, I get the current timestamp. If the event is a button press and arg3 means the middle mouse button, uh, it will set the timestamp to the current second. And uh, if it's a release of the middle mouse button, it will also set the timestamp to the current uh, seconds. But the thing that you know allows it to have that delay between middle mouse click and going into G shift is me updating the global variable of time to the timestamp whenever the mouse button is pressed and whenever it's released. And you'll see here when the mouse button is released, it just checks if a second has passed basically, right? Because the time and the timestamp are the same. If you know you click on the middle mouse button for less than a second, then it'll just do the middle mouse click without um, activating G shift. So now you can fully use you know, the middle mouse button as a G shift toggle and you know, it works just as intended. I'm switching my DPI here and yeah, go, go ahead and you know, have some fun with this. Bye.